Um, hi guys, thanks for coming back to another um, baking class. Uh, today we have Irish bread just in time for St. Patty's Day, um, which is going to be super quick, super simple. Um, so we'll just get right into it. I have a big bowl. We're going to put all of our dry ingredients right in there. It's going to be three cups of flour. Um, before I get too far into it, I know I sent all of you guys a recipe. Uh, there's a little tweaking that I had to do. Um, if you make the recipe as is, it comes out a little bit with like a metallic bitterness. There's a little bit too much baking soda in it. Um, so I'm cutting it down to two and a half teaspoons and not the four. All right, so we have three cups of flour. We're gonna do a quarter cup of sugar. One second. I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt. Um, and then half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then the two and a half teaspoons and not four of the baking soda. We're just going to give this a quick little whisk. So it's all together. Um, and then we'll put our raisins on. So we're going to do a couple of raisins. And then we're just going to fill it with water to cover the top of it. And then we'll bring it up to a boil and shut it off. That way the raisins have a little bit of life to them when they go into the bread so they don't dry out too much. Mm -hmm. Open. Put the raisins. If you like more raisins, go ahead and feel free to add more raisins. This is just what the recipe calls for. So raisins into the pot. I'm just going to cover this with water and then stick it onto high heat. And then in a separate bowl, 
Symbol. We're going to put all of the water gradients into there. So it's going to be a cup and a half of the buttermilk, one egg, and hey, then guess yeah. what I'm watching? I had signed up to watch a healthy baking. Oh, oh shoot! I'm not on mute. Okay, sorry. Got a question. Good. You said one and a half over here says one and a quarter buttermilk. Um I put I thought that I had put one and a half to one and a quarter. Um I just found that the recipe came out a little bit dry. Uh so I added another quarter of a cup. So it's one and a half? Yeah, one and a half cups. It's originally my grandma's recipe, but I think I copied it down wrong. So there were a couple things that were a little bit off. And during my trial period, I had to change a couple things. Do you have to put raisins? You don't have to. If you, you don't, don't like have to. Like All right. So now I think that's good there until the raisins are ready. So we're going to get our butter ready. See, um, recipe calls for four tablespoons, which is half a stick of butter. We'll just cut it into smaller pieces to make it easier to mix in. Just toss them right in, kind of pinch the dough together with your fingers like in a couple of the other recipes I've done, um, just to kind of get the butter incorporated. And then once when you don't see chunks of butter anymore, it's good to go. All right, so I've got all the butter incorporated. You can kind of see there's no big chunks that are falling out. Um, so that'll be good to go. And we're just waiting on our raisins to finish coming up to a boil. And then we're gonna drain those off um, and combine them in with our buttermilk and egg mixture.
back with their raisins. They just came up to a boil, so I took them right off the heat. They've got a little bit of a softness to them now, but they're not fully um, reconstituted. So we're just going to spoon them right in to avoid any of the leftover water that's in the pot. We'll just give them a little mix into here. And we're gonna create a small well in the center of our flower. And we'll just pour the buttermilk and raisins right in. don't like getting your hands dirty, you can do this with a wooden spoon or a spatula, um, but my hands are already very dirty, so I'm just going to go and give them a little toss around in here. Um, you want to mix it until it just starts kind of coming together and is a, a little bit doughy. Um, and then we're going to dump it out onto a floured surface. You can see it's kind of coming together. It's still pretty sticky and soft. Put the dough down. Do a good amount of flour on top. Kind of give it a couple folds just to make sure that everything is well mixed up inside of there. If it's still too uh, sticky, you can add a little bit more flour. I'm just going to get all of the dough off of my hands. Give it one kind of final shaping. And then pile out. And I'm going to flour the bottom of this real quick um, so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Just kind of toss it right on there, form it into a nice dough ball. Little baker's trick, if you have any dough stuck to your hand, you can grab a handful of flour 
kind of scrub it in your hands and uh, it'll dry out all of the dough on your hands and it'll take it right off. Um, so now that we have our dough ball, um, we're just going to take a knife and cut cross right through the top of it um, so that when it starts baking, it's going to have room to kind of expand and break apart instead of uh, like flattening out um, and it'll stop it from deflating once when it's finally done baking as well. So this is what it should look like and we're going to pop it right into the oven um, at 350. It takes about 45 to 55 minutes to cook. Um, it should have a nice dark brown crust on the outside. Um, you'll be able to tap it and it'll kind of have a little uh, noise, like a hollow noise to it. Um, okay, I'm going to toss it in. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions for me? Yeah, if you want to substitute chocolate chips for the raisins, is that all right? Yeah, of course. Um, anything you want, you can do nuts, you can do other kinds of uh, dried fruit or even fresh fruit if you felt like it. Um, it'll be the same exact recipe. Okay, same amount too. Yep, same amount. Um, and as I'm sure you guys could have guessed, the uh, the soda bread in the name comes from the bread being made with baking soda instead of yeast to make it rise. How do you make buttermilk? Uh, buttermilk, if you don't have it, um, a lot of times people will use milk that's just after it's used by date, um, so it's a little bit sour, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can add um, a little bit of vinegar or lemon juice into your milk, um, and it'll thicken it and curdle it just slightly, and that's pretty much what a buttermilk is. Okay. Um, also asking for if you guys have any suggestions for another baking class in the future, um, anything you'd like to see, you can um, there ask now or you can email it to me. Uh, my email is catcurd, both with a K, um, at uh, 96 at gmail.com. What's your last name? Uh, Kerrig, it's K-E-R-G. K-E-R-G, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, everybody, anybody else have any questions? No, no but thank you. You guys are excited to make bread. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. Yes, yeah, send me pictures how it turns out. I really love hearing from you guys, so. Um, we will upload this video too, so everybody will be able to see it, and I'll insert a picture of the final product so you guys can see what um, Kat's fantastic, fantastic baking looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your bread. Happy St. Patrick's Day.